Hello, I'm Miss Ginsburg with No Adam, and today we're going to be reading The Sun, Our Nearest Star. The Sun, Our Nearest Star. At night, you can see a lot of stars because the sky is dark. Do you know what that is? When the sky is bright, you can also see a star. It is the sun. The sun is our daytime star. It is also the star closest to us. The sun is very big. It is much bigger than Earth. The sun is almost a million miles across. If Earth was the size of a pea, the sun would be the size of a beach ball. So here's Earth, the size of a pea, and here's the sun, the size of a beach ball. Wow. The sun is very far away from us. It is much farther than the moon. A spaceship takes three days to reach the moon. It would take more than three years to reach the sun. So here's Earth, and it's 240,000 miles away from the moon, but it's 93 million miles away from the sun. And you remember, the sun is our nearest star. It takes eight minutes for light to travel from our daytime star to Earth. It takes four years for light from the nearest nighttime star to reach us. Most of the stars are much farther away than that. Stars are made of hot gases. In the sun and other stars, there is iron, gold, copper, and tin. They are not solid as they are on Earth. All of them are gases because they are so hot. The temperature on the surface of the sun is more than 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature in a very hot oven is only 500 degrees. The sun is so hot that a spaceship could not get close to it. If it ever did, the spaceship would change to gases. Wow, 10,000 degrees. That's really, really hot. Without the sun, Earth would be cold and dark. No plants would grow. No animals, no bugs, birds, or flowers. Nothing could live here. The sun keeps us alive. It makes corn grow, and apples, wheat, and bananas. Animals eat the plants. We eat the plants and animals. They give us energy. So the energy in our food comes from the sun. It's solar energy. Mm -hmm. 
Millions of years ago, Earth was covered with swamps and jungles. As plants and animals grew, they stored solar energy. When they died, they slowly changed to coal and oil. So ancient solar energy is stored in coal and oil. Today, we use the stored up solar energy in coal, oil, and gasoline, which is made from oil, to fuel our cars and trucks, airplanes, and rockets. For millions of years, the sun has warmed our planet. It still does. It will keep shining bright and warm for many more millions of years. Wow, look at that beautiful sun. Wow. I learned a lot reading The Sun, Our Nearest Star, and I had a lot of fun too. I hope that you learned a lot and that you had fun also. I'll see you tomorrow with another book.